right, well, you can see I'm in the middle of a problem here. Level 8, so it's the easiest problem, using C++. And you see I've passed 0 and failed 3. So I've got a little bit of a problem. Let's see what this problem's all about. Given three integers, A, B, C, return the largest number obtained after inserting the following operators in brackets. So I actually started a video a little while ago, and I, I said, where are the brackets? I see parentheses, but whatever. You get the point, right? It's acting like a bracket. So you have to keep checking all these different combinations to find the largest number. So if you have 1 times 2 plus 3, you get 5. If you have 1 times 2 times 3, you get 6. 1 plus 2 times 3, you get 7. And then 1 plus 2 times 3, you get 9. So the numbers are always going to be within the range 1, 10. They're always positive. You can use the same operation more than once use the same operation more than once. So I think I have a working approach now. I think so. It has to do with checking for the number one. But I, I did want to re record it to see if I get it right. Let's see. Okay, still don't have it right. Hmm. Expected equal to four given three. Okay, so expected equal to 4 given 3. So let's see. If the middle ones, if the last two, oh, I don't check for if 2 and 3. Okay, so if 2 and 3, if nums 1 and nums 2, or if they're both equal to 1, then I need to return, return A, right, nums 0 times nums 1 plus nums 2. Okay, so the idea is I just prefer to work with Num zero, nums one, nums two. This is just an array. You could have worked with A, B, C. No difference. All right, let's see. Okay, so I'm getting better. Getting better. For small values, it works. For intermediate values, we've got equal to 20, but I'm giving 18. So let's see. So I'm saying if if it's the middle one, we've got nums 0 plus nums 1 times nums 2. And then we've got nums 0 times nums1 times num2, and I'm saying if current is greater than current1, return current, else, hmm, hmm, tricky, 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 let's see, let's see, what is the problem with this one? If in the middle, if nums one equals to one, we're checking if this plus this times this. Or if the, oh, look at this. Got a problem. Got a problem. Mistake. Had a multiplication where an addition should be. Let's test it. OK, 
Okay, works. Let's attempt it. Okay, it all works. So, you saw me struggling. You saw me not sure what was going on all in real time. Now, for the most fun part, let's find out what sort of great solutions there are here. Okay, way shorter. <laughs> Look at that. So they basically say, add them, multiply and add, boom, boom, boom. All the different choices. I love how they use max, that's so much nicer. So clean. All right, a lot of fun.